Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love TV shows. In comparison to movies, I actually don't like movies that much because they take so much time out of your day that if it's not an event to like go see a movie theater as it premieres at a theater, but that's just not existent now because we have Disney Plus, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Paramount Plus. We're going out with friends, but typically movies just take so much longer, so I enjoy TV shows more. So I thought it would be a great idea to do a tier list of TV shows because I have probably the weirdest taste in TV shows, and I don't really know anyone that has the exact taste as mine, so. First show we're going with is Friends, and I'd probably put them, BAM! They're at the bottom! Every freaking real life TV show is trash. That's a bold statement, but no. I'm quite possibly the only person that is my age, 20, that just doesn't like real life TV shows or sitcoms or just like, it's boring. You're probably thinking, wow, Will, have you seen these shows? And I'm telling you, no, because they don't look interesting. Now you're probably thinking that sounds very judgmental, but like, I mean it is, but I also don't want to waste my time watching a show that typically I'm just not gonna like unless I end up watching over two seasons of, which is again a waste of my time. It's the most childlike thing I've ever said. The only show that I actually like watched a lot of was The Office. Um, and that's a very cliche staple. You can call me basic be or hopping on a bandwagon because it is kind of basic. I'm not saying the shows are bad. I'm just saying I would never watch them openly in my free time because I would rather watch cartoons. So yeah, the categories, we got literally goaded. They're just the best and they can't be beat. Really solid, which once again, straightforward, great, decent. If it's on, I'd watch it, but I wouldn't openly choose to watch it. And then we got changed channel to Nickelodeon or Disney because that's kind of what would happen if nothing was on Cartoon Network. And then lastly, we got what is this, which I'm probably just going to put shows that look trash. I haven't seen or are trash uh, because what is this? Like it shouldn't be made. Okay. First one up, I have what the what is this? I thought that was cow and chicken, but now that doesn't look like what is this 16 kind of a random show uh, I think it was made by the same people that did total drama island. I would probably put that at decent I'm pretty sure this is the baby version of uh, Scooby-Doo, which I don't know why that was a trend um, in the 2000s Everyone ran out of ideas and they're like, let's make every show but baby. So th What is that? No adventure time? goaded the bro if you don't like that show then you haven't seen it amazing world of gumball ironic because i'm actually currently re-watching it and i'd say it's great uh because oh shit oh i now realize why tier lists take so long you know what i'm moving both up to great because this was probably the last good show there was on cartoon hour what apple and onion this was this is the most like 2017 show ever makes no fucking sense so what is this is this classic looney tunes come on nope it's baby because everything is babified that, that, no. You know what? I actually did see this, and I would definitely change the channel, because fuck the baby versions. They did Total Drama Island. I think they did Ben 10. They did Looney Tunes. They did Scooby-Doo. Like, where? I just saw all the Ben 10s. Fuck off. Uh, Batman, whatever. The, uh, once again, I'd change it, because that's not the real Batman. Batman Brave and the Bold. This one was kind of... If, yeah, if it's on, I'd watch. It wasn't great. The original Ben 10. This show is actually so good. This show is... I might move it up to Goaded, because there are so many... You know what, I'm moving up to Goaded because the original was so good. I even went to fucking Kmart and bought the Omnitrix to put on my wrist. And ironically, I looked it up to make redo a picture for Instagram. They're $75. I got it for $6. All this other garbage Ben 10 remakes are just so depressing and going, what is this? Camp Laszlo, this show is so solid. This show is actually really good. I think it was only three seasons, really good. Uh, I just said really good three times. What is this? Dude, I don't know. Is this making me feel old or am I just like dumb? Chowder? I put literally goaded because I watched that all the time. I watched that literally all the time. Clarence? Dude, I swear these are the most like 2000 teens, like the tens. These are the most tens shows ever. Just based on the art style, it looks absolute ass. And I think it appeared once when I still had cable when I watched. This show is ass though. So literally, what, I think I'm just gonna assume what is this is just trash. Like what, this is trash. What is this? What the hell? Dude, no. Cloudy with a chance of pe- No. The- what are these, dude? Finally, a good cartoon. Codename Kids Next Door. I would probably put- th Oh shit. Dude, tier lists are hard. I think I'd put that above Camp Laszlo because I didn't really get into it. I was all into the games on the website at the time. Courage the Cowardly Dog. This is also 
really solid. Uh, however, it did was the main show that just gave every kid nightmares um, because that show was drawn so scaredily. Dude, I don't even know what these are. I don't, what the fuck? What the fuck? Finally, Dexter's Laboratory. It's funny because this is also a 90s show, um, but I would probably put this in. I never watched it really. Like it's better than Gumball and 16, whatever shows those are, which you probably wouldn't know. I would put it at decent because I never watched it. Like if it was on, it was on, but it was better than that. It was better than fucking Ben 10 and like, this is 2014 in one picture. Dude, How to Train Your Dragon is a show. Dude, commercialization just ruined this network. Like, what the fuck? You got three versions of Ben 10. You got two different Batman bullshits. Then you got How to Train Your Dragon and Cloudy with a Chance to Meet. But dude, they ran out of ideas and made movies, TV shows. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, this show is so good. I would say this is goaded. This is better. This is probably second place for me. This show, I loved this show. This show was so funny and it was so good. I even had the video game on Game Boy. That's how old I am. Boss was home for imaginary friends. This is super solid. This is super solid. I would probably, I think I liked Camp Lazlo better, which most people actually really didn't like that show. Garfield, oh my, the lack of ideas is superior. Garfield, I mean, if it's on, I'd watch it, I guess. Cause like, it's better than, like these shows on the bottom, whatever those are. Oh my God, Generator Rex? Holy shit, I have not heard of that in so long. The fact that I can't remember the storyline or literally anything about it probably means it wasn't a great show, like it didn't leave an impact on me, but if it was on, I'd watch it. Oh my God, George of the Jungle. I wouldn't be surprised if I watched this back and it's awful, but I remember being it decent. I guess I would put it, if it's on, I'd watch it. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, literally goaded. Literally goaded. These, this is probably there. I have literally no clue what this is. I have, again, no clue what this is. Johnny Bravo. This is funny because I, I think if you're like four or five years older than me, this came out when you were like at a better timing. And I don't know people that really like this show, but I absolutely hate this show. It's just dumb. Man's flexes his muscles and then can't pick up girls. That's the whole show. Like it's the most 80s show I've ever seen, but it was made in the 90s. Oh, Johnny Tess. Johnny Tess is great. I'd put that in. I'd put that there. Justice League, fuck off. Literally another Justice League, fuck off. You love the ideas. Another Justice League, fuck off. Crypt? Like cryptocurrency? Are you? No. What is this list? What is this list? What the fuck is that super evil? I can't even read it. Okay, I have no clue if this Looney Tunes is the original Looney Tunes, but I there's no other thumbnails of the original Looney Tunes, so I'm just gonna assume that. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of Looney Tunes. Gr well, I say huge fan. In comparison to like Adventure Time, Edit and Eddie Chat or whatever, those are like my childhood. Looney Tunes is just not my time period. Um, still like really good as a really little kid. I would say at the end of grade, because it was just such binary humor of like running into a tree. Oh, Mad TV. This was the most underrated show ever because it was like a collage of mini shows. It was literally a animated version of a comic book. I'd probably put, I'd, I can't put that above Looney Tunes. Flapjack, oh my God, this show is so good. This show is so good. I would probably, I'd probably put this like goaded, but if I do, see the thing is, is all really solid and goaded. I would keep in one like tier because that was like the best shows of my childhood. But they're not really all the same because I wouldn't watch all, if I had the choice as a kid, I wouldn't choose all of them. Once again, what the fuck is it? Dude, I have no clue what these shows are. I have literally no clue. Is this a peanut? My gym partner's a monkey. This show made no sense. Like logic thrown out the window. There was no sense at all in this show being made. In comparison to shows now, Nah, I'd still put it at decent, because I'd watch it over Dexter's Laboratory, but it's not... It is... Oh, this... Ah! Uh, Lego shows, bro. When Lego shows came in, you'd think, oh, Will likes Legos, he would love that. No! Fuck that, because you're... A cartoon is 2D, 2D animation. animation. Not, not three. three! That's, That's too, too many, many dimensions, dimensions for my, my child brain. It, two. 2D, it's a cartoon, it's drawn, it's very kid-friendly, so it's flat. I quite literally have no clue what these three shows are. Powerpuff Girls. Classic, but like, once again, I wouldn't watch it. I feel like that was a very, very early 2000s show because it was in the 90s, and that was 
I would have been like one or two. Oh my god, did they make a baby version of it? You bet your ass because they always do that. No, what is this? This what is this thing is too fucking long. This is a problem. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. This is the worst show known to humanity. I just forgot. Is this, is this, is this what I think it is? Lol, it's not, but that show is actually awful as well. Regular show. This show, easily, uh, easily my favorite. Easily my favorite. I have literally no clue what any of these are. Samurai Jack, dude, most underrated show. It was so good, but I didn't watch it as a kid because it was kind of too intense, but I watched it recently back. It's so good. It's actually so good. I'd probably put it at great because it was, I mean, it was really solid, but I don't have any like nostalgia with it. Okay. Is this the original Scooby-Doo? Is this the original Scooby-Doo? There's two million Scooby-Doo shows. To even out this goddamn bottom tier of what is this, um, I put the shows that I actually knew, and I guess the, the trash category is change the channel, because I guess there's no other disrespect than I don't even care about this show, let's just change the channel now. I'm assuming this Scooby-Doo is also the regular Scooby-Doo, which I, I mean, okay, I have to scroll up because there's so many goddamn shows. I'd put this at really solid, but once again, it was like such a classic that sometimes you weren't in the mood to watch a classic, because it was too classic. Secret Mountain Fort Awesome, that is the name of the show. Once again, it makes no fucking sense. It's the worst show I think I've ever, actually, it's one of the worst shows I have ever seen in my life. I have literally no clue about so many shows. Like, what the shit? Sonic, when did he come into the game? Squirrel Boy, that's a show. That's a real show. Okay, this Star Wars I didn't watch. Star Wars The Clone Wars, this was huge. This was huge. I remember staying up till Friday at 8, 7 central, and they were super good for a while. And then I ended up, I, I couldn't keep up with their schedule. So I, I would put this at decent. Steven Universe, never watched it, always changed the channel. Apparently, it was actually really good, but if you, I think if you're probably like three years younger than me, that's probably a really good show because there's a lot of seasons on that show, I think. Teen Titans Go, wor one of the worst shows I've ever seen also because it's not geared towards me. It's geared towards five-year-olds. Oh, the original Teen Titans. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God. This show, once again, I was too young and I didn't want to watch a show about angsty teenagers because why would I? Still, really good. Um, I would put it at great because it was a really good show. Tig and Seek, what the bitch is that? Total Drama Island, this show's action. This was the weirdest time with cartoons. I would put this at great, honestly. I watched it way more. I would watch it. Okay, Gumball needs to go down because it's not it, it's not that good. They babified the fucking show, I told you. Uncle Grandpa, this is the worst show I have seen of all time. No context, no storyline. It was the whole burst of random. Like Cartoon Network hit a wall and they're like, hey, let's make a show that makes absolutely no fucking sense and it's just random. And that's what kids enjoyed, I guess, when nothing made sense. We Bear Bears, I would always skip that because it, if my understanding is correct, it's just a show, like a cute show, and that to me is just boring. Uh, so, <laughs> this just sounds so harsh. Oh no, I'm an idiot. This Scooby-Doo, get this bitch out of here. I'm assuming this is what's new Scooby-Doo, which once again, that was decent because it wasn't the worst version, but actual Scooby-Doo is definitely solid, obviously. This show, I love that we're ending with this. Batman the Animated Series is easily my favorite show of all time. And it's funny because it came out in 1992. Uh, so I wasn't even born yet. That's eight years before I was born. So like, I remember, I think I got like all volume one through three because they all had the same design before volume four. And I watched this all the time. Anytime I was sick, anytime I was just, I don't know, bumming out on the couch and was just, I need something to watch. I always watched this. So yeah, looking at this, I'm pr I think this is pretty, good of an order. I think I overrated Ben 10. Um, honestly, I think, I don't think Ben 10 was that high. Um, I think I like these shows better. Uh, great. That's probably the best order. Uh, yo, I'm going to get so flamed for liking Teen Titans or liking everything else better than Teen Titans. But once again, I, if I was two years older, it would have been way better. And I think if like the, if it's on, I'd watch the category is the smallest, ironically. Um, which that wouldn't make sense because I would just watch pretty much everything that was on above that. I'd probably say from if it's on, I'd watch to great. 
those shows I would say like if I couldn't decide on what to watch I would watch it and like I wouldn't have a big opinion on it But if anything and literally go to really solid was playing I was watching like I was staying and watching the whole episode this fucking category What is this just shows how many awful ripoffs and just trash cartoons they've just made so yeah I'm not I'm, I'm happy with the literally goaded ones because those are they're so good and they all came out around the same time frame. That's what's even crazier. I just clocked for the third time. I think this says what's new Scooby-Doo. Like, Will, I don't, I honestly can't even read this text, but I'm like 99% sure that says what's new Scooby-Doo. So that means those will flip. So that's my whack ass uh, wild tier list of cartoons. Let me know what you guys would move or what you think because last time I did a tier list on stream, I was flamed for two hours. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know why I took a pause. <laughs> see ya.